Next, this is Buttercup. We talked about the creativeness and resourcefulness of the enslaved women when we looked at the slave quilts. So now we're looking at a doll. And this is a doll that has been in my family for, oh my goodness, close to 200 years. So Buttercup is about 185 to 200 years old. And she was created by my great-grandmother's mother, who was owned by a family here in Madison County by the name of Kellogg's. And so Mrs. Kellogg wanted to create a doll for her daughter. So she went to my great-grandmother's mother to um, say, hey, uh, could you make a doll for her? And so this is what she came up with. Buttercup's face is made out of leather. Her hair, as you can see, is made out of some kind of cloth that she has very tightly sewn onto her head. Her eyes, unfortunately, um, over the years, the color has faded. So she had a little bit of like um, color into her eyes, like a brown color for her eyes. And then on her lips were red. So this is what she saw as being a beautiful doll. Not only does this show how creative the enslaved African-American African -American women were, but this also begins to show us the beginning of black pride and black beauty. So we're beginning to see this emerge during the early to mid 1800s.